Studios, the studio with food. And that's our kitchen. We're in Studio D. We've got an entire hour of some of your most favorite products and our most talked about brands. We're going to kick it off with the Holstein 760 watt automatic fun pie maker. And you know what? They didn't really even need to put the word fun in it because I think anytime we make pies, it's super fun, especially when Carrie Maletto is here. She's our go-go gadget girl. She's going to be making pies. And what do we love about pies? We love picking our flavor. Who can agree? Cherry pie, apple pie, berry pie, uh, maybe even savory pies, chicken pot pie. <laughs> it doesn't matter because Carrie can make it in the Holstein Fun Pie Maker. It's only $19.95. Look at this. It's going to be $10 off, which is 30% off. Back for the first time mm -hmm. since it sold out in October. Oh my gosh, it's been months. Already a huge customer pick. Over 100 rave reviews on our website. This is pie making made easy. And Carrie, this is so fun. I love that you're back. We've got two colors. We've got the black. We've got the red. You're making pies your way in just about seven minutes. A personal pie in seven minutes. Look at that. Okay, what kind of pies did you make? Okay, so... We had to Yummy. start with the all-American favorites, right? So we did a cherry pie and we did an apple pie, which are the two tops I think you should start with as well. But, you know, whatever <laughs> favorites you have, that is the fun of this. That's why it's the fun pie maker. You can do anything you want. So if you have an apple tree and an apple season happens and you want to make fresh apple pie, you will have it done in a matter of seven minutes. It only takes two minutes for these to warm up. And because they're a nonstick top and bottom, I just pulled pies out of here and I can keep going because it literally wipes to clean. That's what I love about this. So I'm going to actually do uh, now, this is my uh, what is this one? I think this is my cherry actually now. Sorry. Okay. Or my blueberry. Um, yeah. So we're going to put some berries in here on this side and then we're going to do peaches over here. Now you can buy your uh, filling right straight from the can in the store. But if you have your own recipes that you'd like to make, maybe you used to make full big pies all the time. This mm -hmm. is so much easier because literally again, you just pick whatever your favorite is Top it like this, and then here's the hardest part I always say. You close it, you lock it, and you let it do its job. So that's it. Warm it for two minutes, fill her up, and in seven minutes, you have pies. You can do two different pies at once. You can start making different pies. I, we just had a, a woman that called the other day and said during the holidays, she made 18 pies and all different flavors that everyone liked, and you can keep popping them out very easily because, again, only seven minutes. It's less than it would take to warm your oven to even well, get started That's there. what I'm thinking. I mean, it's so intimidating to make a pie. I, don't, I, I can't remember the last time I even tried to make a pie. I don't even attempt that anymore. <laughs> uh, I, I know when I'm in over my head. But this is something I can do because you can actually get pre-made pie filling. You can get pre-made pie dough, right? And you just make it yourself in this fabulous little oven that's only going to cost you, what, $20? You have to get some ice cream in there. That's, yep. that's, that's the rule. A la mode. A la mode. <laughs> and you're making it your way. If you have a favorite pie recipe, if you want to tell us your story, I know this is already getting so many rave reviews on our website. Uh, call us. Uh, we'll open up our testimonial line. And we'll just talk about pies, because who doesn't who doesn't love pie? Well, and here is a great mm. idea. So these pies that we made are pot pies. So when you want to take your leftovers, whether it be chicken, beef, steak, ground beef, you name it, you can go ahead and make a pot pie. You don't have to make it each time fresh. You can make these and freeze them. So if you want to go ahead and make, say, 10 of these, place them in bags, put them in the freezer. Whenever you're ready, you can just heat these up and be good to go. It means that leftovers never go to waste number one but number two you can have those meals for when you're on the go and on the run and you forgot about dinner yeah pop these out put them in the microwave for a few moments and or the oven to heat them back up if you like but what I do like again so I'm going to show you how easy it is to get these pieces by the way because we we're going to give you a recipe to do your own pie dough but you can also cut them yourselves because we're giving you the cutter so I'm going to talk about that in just a moment now the pot pies, I actually took what's coming up, our wakaya turmeric, and I put some in my chicken pot pie recipe because that just gives it a little flavor kick, and that's really what cooking's all about is having fun with flavors and spices. So again, fill her up there. Now this one I'm going to do is a new pie we just started making. It's our shepherd's pie pie. So the same thing, the ground beef, the Yum. carrots, the peas, whatever you put in your shepherd's pie, and then you take your potato and you use that as your top. So I'm doing the mashed potato 
potato like this. I am not going to top this one. I'm going to leave it just like that, but I am going to put the top on my chicken pot pie. So you okay. see I'm doing two different kinds at once. I'm going to close this. It'll sizzle. You'll hear it sizzling because that's that mashed potato hitting the top. But what's so exciting about that is it's just having fun with your imagination. If you have, hey, I wonder mm -hmm. if I could put that in a pie. Or I wonder, because this is nonstick and it forms it exactly like a pie every time, have fun with Look the ideas. That. Look at that. And then you get like a, a perfect look of a pie every you get, time so do you get the designs so, on the top here's what we did so I'll, I'll teach you a tip because sometimes we're starting to do these things to teach you a fork so on the top piece so when you cut this let me show you how to cut it so here's the cutter that's coming with mm, when you get your so pie good. dough you can get this from the frozen food section at the grocery store the large side is your bottom so you just press it like that so this is the bottom and then you turn it around and the smaller side is your tops so you have your bottom you have your tops now, if you wanted to do this design like we had over here, you would simply take a fork and you would just do this with the fork all over. That's all that is. Oh, you just make your own little crisscross design. Do you see that? And then you would just put your top on top normally, just like you Amazing. saw me do. Okay. Super easy, but look how pretty they and look. And you're getting right? the pie cutter included. Yes, so you, you are. know exactly what size and what shape to make out of your pie dough. You're also getting some great recipes that are going to get you started, right? Yeah, so a couple Perfect. recipes to get you going. Honestly, you know, most people when they first get started with this, you're going to do fruit pies. That's what you get this mm -hmm. for in general. But all these ideas I'm showing you really open you up to the possibilities of once you Delicious. have a pie maker where you can go with it. This is our egg pie. So let's say in the morning you're always in a rush. You have a few minutes. You don't want to go through the fast food drive-thru. This is egg and ham and peppers, and you can put out different ingredients. Usually hmm. we do um, different stuff here. And so that doesn't actually have a pie crust on it. Yes, it does. Oh, it does? So you use the pie crust, correct? Oh. And so it gives it that, instead of bread, you're actually, you're kind of going down on the bread a little bit. So because if you use a big croissant or use mm -hmm. something, that would be a lot more bread than this is actually. And now here I'm okay. going to go crazy. Okay, so now we discovered through our having fun with this. You're just now going crazy. I'm going crazy. Okay. You just were totally now. normal up until now. That's not true. <laughs> I lost it a long time we, ago. We, but <laughs> we, we love you. I always say I'm a lot more we fun We love you way. crazy, Carrie. Thank you. Um, this is actually biscuit. So we did our sausage no. and gravy, and you just no. put your sausage and gravy in just like this. When we discovered this, we were so excited, you guys. And um, I'm, gosh, I totally forget her name, but the other day someone shared with us that she was doing taco pies. So she actually got in there and had fun with uh, like a taco filling, but I'm not gonna put a top on this. What's gonna happen, it's gonna rise up, it's gonna crisp up all around the top, and this okay. is the most delicious thing you have ever eaten, and all we do is close it. So That's let's it. go over sort of the basics. All you do is plug this in. Yep. Put this on your countertop. Correct. And does it need a lot of time to Two heat minutes. up? Two minutes, you're ready to go. You put in your ingredients. Correct. You close the lid. And then, do you, how do you know when it's done? So about seven minutes. About seven minutes. Um, and you know, some recipes take five, some take eight, some take, you know, so just kind of, but seven minutes is usually the, the roundabout time. Okay, this Which one? is like, by the way, so much faster so much than faster. baking a pie. Because if you put a full okay. size pie in the oven, not only does it take like 15 minutes to preheat your oven, sometimes pies take like an hour. Exactly. It's no. like baking a lasagna, like it's never done in the middle. And when you make a full size pie, you have the pressure to eat a full size pie. So I always say. <laughs> no, oh, it's not pressure, it's opportunity. I know, well, it's how you look at it. Well, but you're it, right. This, you, it, it's a perfectly proportioned pie. And you don't have to fill both sides, by the way, when you're using this. So if you just wanted to make one pie for your yourself because you say, gosh, I just want to have a pie in five minutes. <laughs> Great. You're done. This is our cheeseburger pie. <gasps> Where's my fork? So it sounds interesting, but I tell you what, this Good. is delicious. It is ground beef, ketchup, okay. pickles, and cheese <laughs> on a pie crust. And you go, what? Best thing I've ever tasted. I can't even. I can't even. So that is my cheeseburger pie dance. It's <laughs> Oh my God, that is so good. Isn't that, it's like, it's like so like, you're like, wait, it's a pie, but it's a cheeseburger, but it, it really blends together so perfectly. you know what I'm thinking? Like this is the best invention for leftovers, right? Yes. Like, what do you do with taco meat? What do you do with leftover chicken? What do you do with leftover beef? What do you do with uh, scraps from the ham on Sunday dinner? Yep. This is what you do. You can make little pies. You can make individual pies. For all the kids, for you know anybody who stops by and announce any emergency meals, oh, yeah. I love that you can make them ahead of time. Wouldn't this be fun to like 
Just put a little pie in your lunch and you could heat it up in the microwave when you get to your office. 100%. That is exactly what you can do with this. Stop buying the frozen food ones that have the ingredients inside that you have okay. no idea where that meat came from. You have no idea where I'm any of those ingredients it has preservatives galore. You can make your own pies mm. in minutes. And let's go back to where we started here. So let's see what we got. I think it's been about long. Yeah, we're getting there. dessert after the cheese. So I love that this did this. I want to show you something. So as you're doing this, you will figure this out. You see how this one over here, I needed to fill this one a little bit more. So when I'm in a rush, that's why this would happen. So I want to show you that you'll get used to it. And you see how this one has a little edge on it? Mm -hmm. I love when it comes out like this so I can show you. No matter what, you will make a perfect pie with this. Watch what happens. Boop. Because it's nonstick. Wow. So this is going to make an absolutely perfect pie every single time because these little edges will come right off. You are a perfect baker every single time without even knowing how to bake because Holstein's doing wow. it for you. You're a perfect pie maker and you didn't even know it. And it already does the fluting for you, like that little diagonal oh. design around the edge, right? Look at that. Oh yes, that part you don't even because it crimps it, yeah. so it does that for you. <gasps> Where does?